Hey everyone, so that was a lot of fun, huh? We got a chance to uh, solve a cool problem together um, and see how we can sort of take some of the things that we've learned together, bring them into one place, and combine them to great effect. And that's a lot of what we're going to do throughout the rest of the semester. So today you're going to take your first quiz, and to in honor of that, to help you prepare a little bit, I've posted a practice quiz on the uh, course website, which I'll send out a link to tonight. Uh, but I kind of wanted to walk you through the interface and give you a sense of how this is going to work. Um, so when you come to this site on a normal quiz day, you're only going to see one quiz, and you won't see this start button because the quiz has to be opened for you. Um, quizzes that are not practice quizzes have to be opened for you by one of the, the course staff. So uh, what you'll do is you'll wait, um, and at some point, you know, you're going to go onto Zoom, you're going to get set up, uh, you're going to ask the course staff to open up the quiz for you. Um, and when they do that, uh, it'll, look like, uh, it'll look like this. So you'll see this continue button. Uh, you have 50 minutes left, it's a 50 minute quiz. You hit the continue button and off you go. So this is what the quiz looks like. It's a series of multiple choice um, and uh, programming questions. I put the programming questions up here at the top. Um, there are on this particular quiz, which is not unrepresentative of what we'll do this semester, there are four programming questions worth 10 points each. Um, and then uh, a series of multiple choice questions that are worth two points each. So I guess there are 30 of these. Um, and, you know, these are designed to be straightforward if you've been following along with the lessons, doing the homework, attending some of our sessions, and generally have some clue of what's going on. Um, so, for example, you know, this one, what's the, you know, value of the, the while loop? Um, we see that, you know, it's not even going to enter the loop. So that's, that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> now, as you go, you'll see that the time's going to tick down here, um, and you're also going to, uh, once you've answered a question, that question is no longer visible to you. And that's done partly because we are giving this exam online, um, and so we want to try to provide a fair environment for other students. Um, if you don't get these multiple choice questions right, uh, we're also not going to tell you what the right answer is. So if you've guessed twice and you still didn't get it, um, your chances are up and, and we're not going to reveal that information, at least not until later. We may provide a way for you to view the quizzes at some point, but I'm not even sure we're going to do that. Um, this semester, the quizzes are really uh, providing a purely assessment functionality. That's our goal. Um, okay, so let's look at another example. You know, this is, this is wrong. Obviously, it's going to not do this. And then we hit this. We'll get that one wrong. Um, and the, the programming questions work the way that you've come to expect, right? Um, so, you know, there's a small description of the problem. In this case, I've got, you know, let's just uh, return zero and see what happens when I do that. Um, and it's going to give you, you know, the, the usual error message that you're used to seeing. Um, let's handle null. And in that case, return zero, same thing. Oh, and I've got a missing return statement. Okay. Um, and I could go through this problem, you know, I can solve it for you. It's on the practice quiz, so it's not a secret. Um, uh, and then we'll return the sum. Okay, we've got it. And, you know, like the other questions, once you're done with that, um, it, you know, it, we hide the question. So we allow you to focus on the questions that you still need to answer. Um, one thing you'll notice up here is that the programming questions, like the homework problems, you have unlimited attempts. Uh, once you're out of time, the assessment will close, um, but you do have unlimited attempts on these questions. Uh, the assessment will also close once you've earned all the available points. So if you're at the point where there's no way for you to earn any more points on the assessment, it'll automatically close, take you back to the menu. On the menu, you know, you see um, examples of the assessments that you've, you've taken. Uh, this one, I not finished yet, so I can continue it. Um, if you want to stop it, this is not a reversible action. You can hit stop, particularly on the practices assessments. This is useful so that you can start over. Um, so this is, you know, our quiz system. Uh, hopefully, you'll get the hang of it quickly. Um, you know, we're we're trying to do some new things this semester to help you guys get started um, and to make sure that you are following along with the material. At the same time, I do want to point out that it is an early birthday present. I did, in fact, get myself. Lemon, stuff lemon. This stuff lemon is not going to hang over my desk. It just sits on my desk because you know um, I am really trying to take that Mark Andreessen uh, motto to heart. Worse is better, um, and taking care of each other is best of all. So I will see you tomorrow. Uh, enjoy the quiz.